Hello and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I'm Alicia and this is the place to be if you want to lose the pain, lose your fear of pain, learn to trust your body, and do what you love for life. Do you ever see people walking around all hunched over like this and just want to grab them and bring their shoulders back? No? <laughs> I do. I'm such a nerd, but that's why I'm here. So if you have really forward rotated shoulders, um, this is going to be a great technique for you. I'm going to show you how to release your pec minor fascia using a lacrosse ball. You could use a baseball for this one, but a lacrosse ball is going to be my ideal pick. I would not recommend using a golf ball, softball, tennis ball, anything like that. Lacrosse ball or baseball, my top two choices. So a pec minor is a small but very important muscle. It attaches to the third, fourth, and fifth ribs, as well as the coracoid process of the scapula, which means that it connects our front to back. So it connects the chest to the back. And it can actually impact both, um, let's say, breathing and rib issues in the front, as well as scapular or rotator cuff issues and shoulder joint mobility problems. So small muscle, but very, very, very important. And it's also pretty difficult to get into because it actually sits under pec major and the clavipectoral fascia, just kind of a, a band of fascia here. Um, and you have to actually elevate the arm um, to get into it. So with your arm resting by your side, you're not going to get into it. Anything you feel around here is going to be pec major, basically, um, or the deltoid. So reasons to do this technique. Um, you don't have to be in pain to benefit, so anyone could probably benefit from this, but specific reasons to try this out would be if you have forward rotated shoulders, um, like this, if you have a winged scapula where you're kind of getting into that hunched position, um, it could be pec minor that's actually pulling um, the scapula kind of out and forward. Um, if you have shoulder mobility issues, um, specifically uh, partially frozen shoulders, or if you have a range of motion issue with your arm in 90 degrees like this and you have a problem rotating uh, backwards. If you can't even get into this position, um, lying on the floor is actually a better test, but um, if it's a serious mobility issue for you, even this will be difficult. Um, if you're on the floor, it might be like hanging up off the floor. So this right here might be difficult for you, then you definitely want to try this out. If you have ribs that seem to go out all the time, it could be that your pec minor is super tight, especially if you've had um, impact trauma. Like if you've been a, um, an athlete in sports like lacrosse or football, where you've had a lot of impact trauma, or if you were in a car accident or fell doing something like snowboarding, um, it could just be super tight and locked up and causing those ribs to be easily pulled out of um, alignment. Okay, so you, if you've been with me for a while, you might know I've already put out a um, technique with a lacrosse ball for the pecs. <laughs> I mean, that included pec minor, but um, the way that I showed you how to do that one is mostly for pec major. Um, pec minor is a slippery little sucker, <laughs> and it actually is going to require some finesse to get in there. So I've kind of figured out how to do that um, for a couple of my clients where I actually can't even get in there on my own with them, and I've had to invent this technique for them specifically um, to get the better result. Okay, so you have to do this one with an elevated arm. Um, I like the 90 degree position to start. And that is pec major right there. Pec minor is under. Um, if you want to feel yourself up <laughs> and, and find it, it's going to be kind of a little like thunk under there. Um, it's not here. This is the deltoid and that is pec major, so it's under. Um, and you kind of are going to have to place the ball under, almost in your armpit but you don't want it going into your armpit. You want it just kind of under the shelf that is pec major. Um, and then you want your weight to sink in and you're looking for, you want to move really, really slow on this one and you're looking for a clunk. There, there it is. It's, it's pretty small on me. Um, so I don't know if it's visible to the camera. I keep hunting here. <laughs> so this one, more than most of my techniques, is going to require some patience to find the right spot. Oh, there it is. Um, rotating forward will also be a good one. You want to go slow. Clunk. <laughs> so starting at 90 degrees, reaching up. You want to use your opposite hand to hold the ball directly in place. 
so that it's not moving. You do not want to get on this ball and just roll it around and massage it around. Your goal is to find that thunk um, that's going to happen. And basically what that is, is pec minor is adhesed to pec major and you're unsticking them. Um, and that's kind of the goal of this one. So if, you know, you can kind of feel this and if it's somewhat hard um, and guys are probably going to have a more adhesed pec minor than women, but um, if it's at all, I don't know, hard or feels adhesed to, to your fingers, then this is a good one to try. And just take your time finding that clunk, um, but that's basically what you're looking for. So it's just 90 degrees, very, very, very slow movement up, and then rotating forward and back without your elbow dropping. So give this a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you have questions, please comment here on YouTube, Facebook, or mobilitymastery.com. If you want new episodes emailed to you weekly, you can subscribe on mobilitymastery.com. Subscribe here on YouTube for new episodes every week, every Monday. And if you liked this video, then please like and share it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you're learning to trust your body so you can adventure through life with confidence. Until next time, get curious, get moving, and be unstoppable.